Past perfect continuous. Passive voice. Construction. Had plus been plus being plus past participle. Spoken translated. Example verb. Teach. I had been being taught. You had been being taught. He, she, it had been being taught. We had been being taught. You guys had been being taught. They had been being taught. Context. Who had been being spoken to by the auditors last week? They spoke to us and everything went smoothly. I hate being audited. Don't worry. After everything had been being searched and filed, the auditor told me that everything was in order and we won't have anything to worry about. That's good news at least. Yes, definitely. Because last year, a friend who works for a similar company had been being audited for five months and it really gave him a lot of stress. That's understandable. These things happen. One should just relax and sit tight. You're right about that. 1. Who had been being spoken to by the auditors last week? Had been being spoken to is the past perfect continuous in the passive voice. This verb form in the passive is rarely used and would be considered very much uncommon. The emphasis is on who, and the passive is used to focus on the action of auditing. 2. After everything had been being searched and filed, the auditor told me that everything was in order. Again, the past perfect continuous in the passive voice is uncommon. Here, had been being searched is the past perfect continuous in the passive voice. 3. We won't have anything to worry about. The future simple, won't have, is used to make a promise. We can use the future simple to make promises and predictions. 4. A friend who works for a similar company had been being audited for five months. Had been being audited is the past perfect continuous in the passive voice, being used here to describe the action of being audited. 5. That's understandable. Understandable is an adjective, and it's being used with the main auxiliary verb be. We use be with adjectives, i.e. I am hungry, tired, sleepy, funny, etc. 6. One should just relax. In English, to talk about things in a general sense, and to remain neutral, you can use the pronoun one, i.e. one must behave prudent, one must be prudent. You can also use the subject pronoun you to talk about things or people in a general sense, but it's less neutral, i.e. you need to live well, everyone needs to live well. 7. Sit tight. This is an expression meaning be patient and wait.